I'm getting ready to put back together this uh, lathe. You might have seen it before in the uh, video called Mystery Machine. Uh, since then I have found out that it is either a uh, Auerbach or a, uh, a Carter lathe. Both of them are German brands. I did some uh, de-rusting, painting and had some uh, parts galvanized. I've uh, cleaned up the ways, uh, used a razor blade to scrape off the rust um, and uh, used some scotch brite and they turned out pretty good. Well, let's start by putting back together the uh, detail stock. I did some uh, digging around in my uh, box full of parts and I believe that I got all of them that uh, belong to the tail stock. Um, only these three have been galvanized. Um, I didn't, uh, well, I wasn't brave enough to uh, galvanize the quill and I didn't see the need to galvanize those uh, small screw. The chance of them getting lost was just too great. Here's a look inside the quill and you can clearly see a, a ridge where the um, where the taper ends so apparently it's uh, not 100% concentric it probably got uh, bored and reamed uh, using the headstock so if the casting would be out of line you would get this as a result there's no way to tweak or uh, adjust the tail stock. Hopefully it will work out fine. Let's start from the back. A bit of oil. I uh, should have run a stone over the uh, over the face of this uh, part. I guess I'm going to do that now. Well, it took a while, but I got this part mounted. the uh, The problem is that those screws they uh, screw halfway into the casting of the tailstock and halfway into the part. So you need to line it up exactly, otherwise the screws won't won't uh, go in. But um, <laughs> once you uh, hammer down. The, uh, the part into the barrel um, you can't turn it anymore so it's a bit fiddly to get it back together alright here's the next part Before I can insert the uh, quill, I gotta make sure that this small part sits in uh, the right location underneath the locking screw. It pushes down on the uh, on the quill to lock it. It's and ah, damn it. small magnet and this glue clamp to hold it in place. Put some oil on the quill and slide it in. Yeah. 
it's threaded in but it's too tight to um, turn. Okie dokie. Hmm. I thought it would screw down further. I mean the last Try to line it, to line it up as best I can, and hopefully I'll get lucky. finally managed to get the tailstock uh, back together. This uh, last part has been fighting me for a while. I was um, stupid when I hammered this uh, back on there. It just was too tight and I wasn't able to align the uh, holes for the pin. So I needed to use some brute force to get this thing back off again and then I spent some time um, polishing the shaft and the uh, inside bore and I finally got it back together again. I really don't like this this well I would have preferred a wheel or a ball handle, but not this stupid thing. So I might modify that uh, in the future if the lathe uh, is any good. There's a small loophole on top, and um, the thrust forces are. Well, the friction is um, this is a steel part. This is a cast iron part, so you can. Well, it's regrinding itself, so I guess I need to clean this uh, out uh, again, or maybe flush it with some uh, diesel or something like that. I think it looks pretty good. Works fine, no noticeable play. Um, it, 
it does eject a bit early so I might make a, an arbor that's a bit shorter so I can maximize the uh, quilt travel I got the lathe mounted on these uh, steel box section cutoffs um, but they're not high enough because when I move the tailstock back it's hitting the workbench over here um, I didn't want to make those well, legs any higher because uh, the lathe is already too high as it is an option would be to um, grab the uh, tailstock mounting of locking place underneath the waist instead of the um, the bed but uh, underneath here is not uh, it's not machined flat so I don't know if that's a good idea for now I will probably replace this thing with a regular nut and use a spanner these things are a bit uh, awkward to operate I, I don't like them in the future I could modify the tailstock to uh, make a, a cam lock system with a lever on the back of the lathe that way I can more easily move around the tailstock and it will save quite a bit of time I've decided to make this a three part series this being the first the second will be about reassembling the uh, cross slide and the top slide and the last will be about uh, reassembling the headstock well, I'm doing this mainly because of the lousy internet bad what we got here a 20 minute video upload takes almost a complete night it will also shorten the amount of time I need to sit behind the computer to edit all this stuff well it won't shorten it but it cuts it into uh, doable pieces hopefully I will upload the second part in this series uh, very soon